Hi, I'm here with Charlotte Morgan, one of our projects partners joining us this week uh, in Australia from Linklaters in London. Charlotte, welcome to Australia. Thank you. Uh, by my count, uh, we've had over 20 meetings this week with over 100 clients talking about the uh, Thames Tideway project. Um, I think the numbers speak for themselves. Did, uh, did, you, did you think clients were interested in what you uh, had to talk about? Yeah, I think there was a broad range of interest actually. Um, and obviously, we were meeting a range of different clients right through from the government ministers right through um, the infrastructure of Australia and down to the, to, to, to the funds and lenders. So there's a broad range of interests. And what was so interesting was that you know, everyone was asking different questions and everyone was, was trying to find out how the, the project could be applicable to what they're doing. So yeah, had a huge amount of interest. It was, it was um, encouraging. Um, at, at four billion pounds, 25 kilometre tunnel under the city of London, obviously a, a, a very big project. Um, but on top of that, you're, you're insetting a um, a new SPV inside an already privatised water network. How did you go about procuring it? So in terms of the procurement, what we were looking to do was we were looking to tap into the, the existing market that there is out there for regulated assets. There's a lot of money in Europe and globally, including your um, Australian uh, pension funds, who are looking to get access to um, regulated assets. Um, and effectively what we did was we amended the structure to make it attractive, effectively turning what would ordinarily be a greenfield opportunity into a brownfield opportunity. And we're partway through a, a capital recycling program here where we are getting the pension funds and the super funds looking for those long-term stable cash flows. How did you achieve that brownfield treatment of what is otherwise a, a greenfield project with construction risk? How was that done? So effectively what we did as Thames Water was we put together everything that the company would need in order to carry out the project. So instead of procuring, um, uh, taking an opportunity out to the market with the market bringing everything, we created everything. We let the construction contracts, we put in place the insurance, we put together the team and the project managers and even the whole board and the CEO and, uh, and, and CFO. So that meant this really did trade as though it were an operational company. Uh, and in terms of the, uh, the internal rate of return or the, the cost of capital that you achieved on the project, were there any lessons there? Yeah, it was phenomenally successful. Um, because of the way in which we adapted the regulatory regime and because of the government support package that we put in place, we were able to achieve a substantial saving for customers' bills. So my client, Thames Water, um, when we were originally looking at the project, was probably looking at a in bill increase of about £80. Pounds. By the time we had accessed the cheaper capital, both the equity and the debt, um, Thames customers were looking at about a £20, £20 pound increase. So a significant saving, and one which led to the Chancellor in the UK recommending this structure um, to the Lord's Economic Forum. Um, back in the UK and what we're seeing now is a huge amount of interest right across the globe from people seeking to access those cheaper um, debt and equity markets. Uh, and in terms then of um, that government support package you mentioned, that's, uh, that was off balance sheet in a, in a constrained environment? Yeah, and so in terms of what we had to do because the UK government is, is subject to um, state aid requirements in the EU, we were able to target the government support and make it sufficiently contingent so it had favourable treatment both from the state aid and from the balance sheet perspective. Well that's great, so uh, uh, ultimately a cost of capital approaching what government could do uh, with a support package that off uh, is off balance sheet a, a great result all round. Yes, no, it was. It was uh, hugely successful. Terrific. Thanks very much, Charlotte. Not at all.